Well, hello, hello there. Love is in the air. It's February, and it's Valentine's Day. Wow, I don't know what that was. It's, it's Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. I thought it would be a good idea to make a video around Valentine's Day, but since I am right now, uh. Single. Since right now I am single and not currently with anybody, I thought, hey, uh, fuck trying to get a date with a human. Let's go on a date with a pigeon or with a bird. I mean, I don't think these are just pigeons or whatever, or with just a bird, you know, like I, I'm limiting myself so much by just going out with humans. I mean, let's, let's spread our wings. Let's do something different. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to play. Hey, full boyfriend. Let's get into it. It says, Welcome to Saint Pigeon Nation. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Oh, what do I want my name to be? I could go with Hayako. That's a pretty good name. Uh, let's see right here. What's a name that I always liked? An elegant name. A name that inspires romance. Billy Bob. Yeah, that's good right there. I like that. Ooh, my last name. Joe. Is Billy Bob Joe okay? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Yes, Billy Bob Joe is awesome. Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization. Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of the birds to, pe uh, to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Oh. Display human portraits? Uh, yes, no. I mean, the whole point of this was for me to not go out with humans, to go out with birds. I mean, come on. No. Hell no. I'm excited to get into this. St. Pigeons. P Pigeon Nations. Pigeon Nations. Is that how you say it? Uh, school blessed with extensive curricula and f curricula and fertilities. Man, this is going to be a terrible video. <laughs> I can't speak for shit. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, Japan's no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Huh, interesting. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Awesome. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different background and species. Hmm, interesting. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. I mean, that's a very good question. Why would you come here if you're not a bird? It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh, Ryuta, I say. Usually you have been ready for an hour by now, Billy Bob. Overslept. Ooh, Ryuta. Uh, Kawa Rara. I, I don't know Japanese. I'm sorry if I butcher these names. This rock dove, this rock dove is named Kayuta Rarita. <laughs> We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Oh, okay. I've been friends with a bird since they're, they've been hatched. Interesting. He can be a li little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. I mean, it sounds, sounds like my kind of person. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Oh, yeah, I love breakfast. I might take you up on that offer, actually. Uh, when starvation looms. Thank, Ryuta. Let's just call him Rai. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need a hurdy class. Come on. Let's get out of here. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. I don't know why I came on this, like, Edwin voice. And so, Rai, Rai pulled me along into the school. Oh, yeah. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. Ooh, interesting. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Yeah. Okay, interesting. We're getting into the story. Hateful Boyfriend. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. Awesome. Got a lot of birds there. 
I think we're in 2-3. Rai and I are in the same class again. Awesome. It sounds like me and Rai are bros. I like this. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Ooh. Oh, good morning, everybody. Er, I'm Naka Kazuki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Mm, okay. I specialize in math and physics. I didn't give him a different voice. Is it him or her? I'm not sure. Okay. And also, uh, no, I can't do that voice. And also some other things. Zzz. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. Ooh. This quail is Nike Kasuki. He's a famously, he's a famously sophomoric math f professor. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. I mean, this guy is drowsy. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Yeah, birds, white birds. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Oh wait, I, I forgot his voice. Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, uh, Shiro Gang. Sh Shiro Gang? I'm just gonna be butchering all these fucking... Oh man, I should have thought about this before doing a Japanese game. Okay, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, let's do Shiro. Whoa! Shiro? Is that Shiro? It says Sayuka. Let's see. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Oh yeah, I picked the right voice. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. It's very fancy. Very fancy bird. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey. I can't remember his voice. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. That's no good. But... But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse. And we'll all turn into... Dissenters. <laughs> well, when you put it like that, could we at least say your name, Cheryl Gang? Oh, Cheryl Gang. Mm. It seems this fantail is Cheryl Gangster Sayuka. His oh, it's a, it's a male. Okay, I just don't make him fancy. His feathers could make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, I mean, look at him. Gosh, he is gorgeous. Sayuka sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuko and me. Ooh, interesting. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Hmm. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I should return, return them now. Speak English, can I? I can't. <laughs> Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Uh, let's see. Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh, ooh, or not. A morning, a dove. Hands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Right here. I don't know what that's just an exclamation. He looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Yeah, it has to be. Are you sure? Yes. Let's see. Let's do a voice. Let's make him very timid. Oh, yes. I don't, I don't want anything with you. I'm sorry. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, 
They're, they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to the book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Yeah, everyone has their bad days. I'm Joe Billy Bob, a sophomore. What about you? Hmm. You're... Hmm. Na... Naiki? Uh, Naiki? Naiki? Fero... Fujisiro. I think so. Fujisiro Naiki. Freshman. Ooh. I mean, like, that is a bird. I mean, I liked the other person, uh, Shir Shiro. But, hey, this, this bird ain't that bad either. Maybe it's because he's a morning dove. Morn a morning dove. But he seems a little sad. Yeah, it's in his name. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. <laughs> the funny, a funny thought. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... Oh, it's Sayuka. Sayuka. You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Hmm? Come on, Sayuka. What what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years? Oh, okay. I'm listening to a thing. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's let's have a let's have a voice for uh Yua. Oh, you hear music. Okay. Come on, Sayuka. What kind of thing is that to say to your own? Uh, let's let's make let's make him a little less uh uh let's see or see fancy fancy let's make a more even line come on sayuka what kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years my brother you must be joking you've never once been a brother to me oh shit this is going now please please don't try to talk to me again I have no time for half breeds right now. I'll be going. Oh shit! Sayuka's racist. Oh fuck. Hey, wait, just a. Uh... And he leaves. I guess even if we're in, I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I haven't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I overheard something juicy. Yeah, it sounded juicy. My goodness. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Saka Yuka, y you, um, Yua, is Sayuka's brother? Hmm? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Oh, shit. You heard that whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sayuka's? Uh, oops, oops, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to listen in on you. Uh, uh, no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Oh shit! And apparently, I am a woman. Uh, it's okay with me. This fantail pigeon is Sayuka Yayuda, uh, Yua. An upperclassman. Okay, interesting. I've never talked to him before because he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows him. You're, you're, you're Billy Bob, right? Uh, how did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. Got yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> a single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were friends of Sayuka's? Eh, not really. Uh, we had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? 
He's a bit of a pain. So good luck. Mon amun adieu. I don't know French either. <laughs> it, uh, hopefully that was French. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like you, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah, get to go home, huh? Sir, uh, where's Ryuka? He said he's going to the infirmary. Oh, to the, the nurse, maybe? Uh, I don't know these. I'm not familiar with these words. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. All right, I will. Now that you think about it, Ryuka, Rai always had a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to, I should go to the nurse or to the uh, doctor place. Uh, infirmary, in, in, infirmary, I can't speak today, Jesus Christ. Just to make sure he's okay. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Excuse me? Uh, anybody? No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtain, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Rai? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Rai, I'm perfectly healthy. Uh, bragging much whoa they have all kind of drugs in here oh yeah thinking like I'm thinking um a bunch of drugs what does this even do care to find out no I don't know uh maybe he's southern I don't know let, let, we need to see how he looks like before whoa okay there's a big 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 old birdie okay uh, the, the, the doctor? The, 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 the doctor? I'll feed you. Uh, we need to think of a voice. This, this music. Let me think of a voice. Mm. Wait, is this not Nutcracker? Oh, gosh. I hate... This music is everywhere. I swear to Christ. Uh man, the things that happen when something's public domain, you just, it's, it shows up in a lot of weird areas. I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? Uh, no thank you. Ooh, shoe. Interesting. This Petridge, oh, that's that's why the uh, Nutcracker is thinking he's a, pat a Petridge, like a Petridge in a, um, what's it called? Uh, that song. 12 days of Christmas, 12 angry men. I don't know. This partridge is Ayume Shu. I'm just calling him Shu. The school doctor. He's rather creepy in person. And he has a bad reputation among the student body. Yeah, I know he's just offered me drugs. What the hell? Every birdie knows that even talk to him, talking to him can bring you down with the... God damn, the vocabulary in this game is like off the charts. Uh, can bring you down with the, uh, let me use my context clues here, uh, the losers, or even worse things, criminals, I don't know. And I've never even heard him come in the door. Is that ninja doctor? I mean, he's pretty big, but th they're all birds. Like, I'm a human, I can fit in here, and they're all birds, so they're, uh, they're, there's a lot of space for them. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard, uh, Rai, uh, Kawara from 2 and 3, he's supposed to be here. Him? Uh, oh, him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find, why didn't Rai come find me before he went home? Uh, s s sorry to bother you. Uh, I'll be going home now. Ah, finally. Out of that den of evil. <laughs> Gosh, a bit dramatic. <laughs> Rai's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Oh, okay. I might kind of decide. Maybe I'll take a look at some of my options. 
oh shit are we gonna be able to are we gonna be able to uh join a club oh interesting let's see i think there are clubs for baseball soccer track kendo migration and bird watching wait birds bird watch each other that's strange it's kind of voyeuristic don't you think wasn't there another one anyway i'll start with the track team i ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around huh i think their club room is on the ground floor off to the side a white dove is having a tr tantrum outside Ooh, a white dove is this um sayuka Oh, San. I don't think that's Ayuka. Goo, goo. This is no pudding for a man. I don't know why I made that voice. Goo. Archer San rejects it. It's a lie. A fictitious falsation. He's dancing around a squish pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. What's going on? Oh, Oka San. They're very slender. This is Okasan. He doesn't really look like it, but he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Let's make him into a bro since he's up here. Cool. Okasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Uh, betrayal? Cool. Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for the new members. Cool. But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store-bought pudding. Uh, what's wrong with it? Coo, coo. Spare the jets, young lady. Ow, fuck, did he hit me? Okasan used the wing attack. It's super effective. Coo. The rude the day they cross Okasan, he have them flayed, hang, shot at dawn he will. Jesus Christ. Coo. Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. God, man. Okasan is kind of a... Uh -huh. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? Yeah, exactly. Very confused right now. And so, the first day of my second semester at pa uh, St. Pigeon Nations. Oh, Pigeon, -ish? Pigeon Nations? Er... I think we'll choose the class council today. As you all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. Yeah, but I want to. If you want you to, if you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. I mean, it does sound good too. But you know, I want to be active in the school. I want to participate. Coo, cool. okay, Akasan is here. Akasan, Akasan has time. Okasan has time for the track team. That's good. What about you, Cheryl Gang? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, huh? Don't we get a vote? Yeah, like, oh, come on, it's not... Not much of a president. Just coming to the school was enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm. I wonder what I should do. Should I join the club? Join the... Uh. Oh, crap. Okay. So, we got track team, student council, library staff. Uh, I think I'm going to choose... Like, we already got a taste for the track team, right? Uh, track is not really my thing, you know. I don't, you can tell, like, I, uh, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't really seem like something that that interesting. Student council, uh, you know, it is fun, you know, being able to. Um, it is fun being able to uh, uh, organize stuff, you know, like dances and certain things like that, fundraisers and stuff. But, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm more of a library staff. I do like me books. I <laughs> I do like my books. And, you know, I don't know. There's something like li library staff is where all the, like, really hot hot people are, you know? Yeah, like all the really hot nerds, you know, they, they all hang out in the library staff. I mean, don't, don't think I'm not true. Don't think that's not true. And then, like, I don't know. It just sounds like a lot of fun, you know, being able to, 
you know, read a lot, you know, uh, put up books, you know, do different things, uh, you know, track people down for uh, their um, for overdue books. Yeah, like library staff all the way. Sounds like the funnest. That's everyone. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. Okay, yeah, I'm part of the library staff. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend. Okay. I'm getting a lot of choices here. Math class? Oh, fuck no. Gym class? Eh, no, 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 no. Music class. Yeah, music class. There we go. I do like music. We sang Birdie Melodies. It was a... We sang the birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together is fun. Billy Bob leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Okay, cool. Oh, here's my stats right here. I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize what that was. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, yeah, receptionist duty. Yeah, you'd like, you can just like sit around and listen to music. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem seem very popular. Oh, that's sad. Not enough books, eh? It's on the flip fifth floor, though. So at least the view is nice. Yeah. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. No birdie here. I wonder if it will be okay to close early. Hmm? Ah, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building? The window is rather good for that, Miss Receptionist. Oh, huh? Oh, it's Nasiki. Nasiki, when did you... I've been here all along. I've never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. Oh, it's me. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? <sighs> it's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes. Is that a problem? Um. Uh, okay. Uh, you should go to outside. No books. Nah. Like, why should we be telling him what he what he should do with his life? You know, he can do whatever he's want. Nah, books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff? That's nah. The oh, this is me. Why don't you join the library staff, uh, Nagasiki? You could read whatever you want. You know, I already read whatever I want. Uh, touche. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Eh, he's not that strange. Just a little, you know. Whoa. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot we're birds. Uh, I was like, what the fuck? Why? Ah. Okay. Ah. Sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh? What happened? Tomorrow is a class hike. Wait. The class has a hike? It's interesting. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. Health first. I think I'll have some undone and go to sleep. Today is the hike. <laughs> we stopped for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Oh, okay. Oh, the class hike. Okay. Uh... Who... Oh, shit. I forgot. Who was... um The fancy brother? I think it was Sayuka? Maybe. Let's talk to Say. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's the wrong person. Unacceptable. And no temper as usual. Uh, why? Why do I have to come to a place like this and on foot? It's a hike, Sayuka. You have to walk. For what purpose? As exercise? Foolishness? Exercise is for peasants. No, for fun. You know, change. you're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here. Don't we have a nice view? I mean, I do like the idea of going out with, like, the prissy person and then, you know, slowly seeing their inner beauty. You know, they seem... She, uh, he seems very, um... Uh... Like confrontational and bad and like you know prissy at first but you know I, I think once we get to know him you know he'll be a pretty cool person maybe maybe i don't know maybe he's just a dick sayuka looks like he still has something to say but he reluctantly reluctantly comes over to me 
I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. Yeah, and he is good looking though. So, you know, today's an elective day. What should I do? Is every day an elective day? Attend. Uh, God, I do not want to do math or gym class. Music class. Come on. Today is a music history lesson. So much thinking outside the box. I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. Hey, but this is what Mozart is all about, I guess. I wonder what those wigs felt like. They look like they're wearing uh, partiments on their head. I don't, I don't know what that word means. Do you seek to mock the great masters? Low-born Philistine. Hey, what the fuck? They're demeaning me like that. What the hell? Billy Bob le leveled up. Charisma increased uh, by five. Yeah, we're getting up there. Er, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you, you'll do. Sports fet festival season already? Sports festival season? <gasps> what? If it were in the... F if it were in the fall, it would come... I don't know what his voice is. Let's make his voice normal. Let's make Rice's voice normal. Okay, he's our friend. If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So, it's always been a May. What are you going to do, Ryuku? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie, some birdie has to. Coo! Akusen will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You don't have a lot of stamina, Akusen. What about you, Sayuka? You can't possibly be expecting me to run some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about... God, how about being a cheerleader? The the general, in other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Oh, uh, okay. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could also... They could use hope if any birdie still can't decide. Oh, that's all for today. Right... Raiko's doing the three-legged race, Akusan's running the marathon, and Sayuku's a cheerleader. You, uh, might be running the first aid tent. Should I do? I think I'll have to think about it. Yeah, I'll really think about it. Uh, I don't want to do any sporting events. Oh, okay. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? God, I had the whole night to think about it. Shit. Go to the, uh, 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 uh. Uh, oh, shit, 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 Should I go to the library? I oh, mean, you know who's there, right? Yeah, let's go to the library. Come on. We don't need to do all this sports shit. May is practically summer already. It's too hot. I think I'll rest in the library. Ah, much better. It's nice that the AC is on, but do we really need it? No birdies in here today. Oh, it's not on? It's... We have to be expecting him. It's you, Na um, Na Nag Nagasi. Okay, I think I'm going for Nagasi. I really like him. It's pretty. It's a handsome bird. It's you, Miss Joe. Ah, huh? whoa! He called me by a name. Yeah, Miss Joe. That's very nice. They don't turn the air conditioning on until June. It just feels cold compared to the outside. Oh, is that it? It would be a little strange to start spending money to cool a barely used library in May. Anyway, anyway, aren't you going to participate in the festival, Na Nasiki? I mean, why am I asking him that? I'm not even there. Aren't you? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a very good point. I don't like. I don't like it outside. <laughs> I don't like it outside. Oh no, no, that's not me. <laughs> that, that's Nasiki. I don't like it outside. So I stay in here. That's all. Hmm, I see. Hmm. 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 Why are you sitting next to me? Oh! Oh, fuck. I didn't know I was sitting next to him. We're getting really quiet here. Uh, do you mind? Not really. Um, listen. Our class president got duped into being the cheerleader, and... 
Sorry. No. Keep going. Oh, fuck. So I spent the day telling him about the festival and whatnot while he read. I don't know how much he was listening to me, but he didn't seem to mind, I think. Oh, snap. That was love, my friends. All right. So <laughs> I think I'm going to end it here. Man, that was a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I had a great time. I had a great time uh, playing this game. Uh, maybe we might do a part two, part three. Who knows? Maybe we might do the whole entire game. Uh, yeah, but I'm running low on battery. <laughs> I'm running low on battery, so I need to uh, wrap this up. But yeah, I hope you had a fun time uh, just playing this riveting game. Like, I'm not even... I when, when I first put on this game, it was meant for a joke, right? But, you know, I, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. So, you know, yeah, I might continue this. Uh, this is only supposed to be a Valentine's thing. But, hey, if uh, if I liked how the video turns out and I like how this is going, hey, maybe I might continue with more. Maybe I might, you know, uh, keep this going as a series. Who knows? Who knows the possibilities? Love is in the air. I think me... Uh, I wasn't really sure who I was going to go with at first. I didn't know if I was going to go with uh, the Prissy Bird. I can't remember the names. I'm sorry. The names are really hard. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know if I wanted to go with the Prissy Bird. Or I definitely didn't want to go with the runner guy. He just seems too much. Uh, Rise our friend. And I don't think I want to mess up that friendship. You know, it is kind of, you know, cliche that, you know, you start going out with your friend, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I think I want to stay friends with him, you know. Uh, I think I'm really, really liking uh, Na Nasiki. I mean, he's like, he's quiet. Uh, he's very, you know, uh, mysterious. I oh, know he's very mysterious, and he, but he seems nice, you know. And like, I just talked to him. I, me and him ha basically had, like, I talked to him about everything. I let him unload. And he just listened, you know. He's a very good listener. He's very good looking, very handsome, handsome, handsome bird. Uh, yeah, like, I like how he's kind of, like, on the outside, you know, he's, he's, he doesn't seem to care about what other people think of him. Yeah, I really, really like him. So, yeah, uh, if we continue this, we might have to pursue him. I think, yeah, that last scene was the stuff. That was what Valentine's Day is all about. Making connections, being able to, you know, open yourself up. And, you know, I hope that no matter how you feel about Valentine's Day, I, I... I know a lot of people uh, hate on Valentine's Day and they hate on the whole idea of it. They, they say fuck Valentine's Day or whatever. I don't know. I think it's a very sweet thought. I think it's a very sweet holiday. And, you know, if you don't have a partner, if you don't have, if you're not in a romantic relationship, hey, just use Valentine's Day to be appreciative for your friends, be appreciative for your family. Just tell people in your life that you love them and you, you know, you appreciate them. You know, it doesn't have to be about, you know, romantic love or, you know, uh, if um, a partner kind of love, you know, it can be um, any kind of love, a love for friends, a love for family. So you just use today to be grateful and to tell your loved ones that you love them. I will see you next time with another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.